Hello and welcome to another L-Spec training video on PQ SCADA Sapphire. Today we're going to go over what is called TAGS. Now TAGS is a very simple method to organize your components into easy to find relevant hierarchy based on your particular needs. Um, the beauty of it is if you don't like it, you can uncheck the box and go back to looking at your your list of meters. Uh, I've seen some people, they have very descriptive names here on their meters, and they may not need to do it. Um, but there's also other reasons for doing tags, uh, with, as far as doing reporting and exporting and everything, that makes it a little bit easier to do. So, to, do, to create a tag, you click on your PQS server, you go to your tags, and we add a tag. As you can see, there are some default tags that you can enable by checking them. But I want to create my own custom one. And I'm going to call this Renewable. And this is our Renewable Generation. We're going to add values. We're going to allow this to happen. And so we're going to have solar and wind. So now we have values of solar and wind tied to the tag renewable. So we're going to start assigning that to our meter base. We click on our first meter, tags, name it solar, save it. Now, if you have a lot of meters, this could be quite in-depth to go back and retroactively do it. But, for the majority of fields on the top tab, you can shift-click or control-click to select as many as you want. I will call these Solar. We'll save it. And then we're going to call these wind and save it. Now, when you go back, you see they're all tagged renewables and solar. So we can open our tree settings, show tags, select the tag we want to see, and click OK. So now, everything we have is broken up and divided into renewables, solar, and wind. Um, you could then break these down even further inside of a medium voltage, high voltage, low voltage, however you want to do it. If you don't like this or you want to change something, you open it, remove the show tags, hit OK, and you go back to your present designation of your view. So that gives you the ability to really just have everything there that you want, you want to look at quickly. It's grouped together nice. Uh, you can group it by location, zip code, uh, whatever you're, you're needing to do to find your meters fastest. It's totally up to you. It's very flexible. Um, another good way to do to deal with this, and we'll get onto this a little bit more when we do um, scheduling and reporting video is if you select um, say solar on your tags so we go in here uh, we've got our solar on our L spec here then when we create a report we just assign it to the tag solar. And then every time you add a meter to your solar tag in your scheduled report, it will automatically add it to that report. So you don't have to recreate reports for every single device that you add. Uh, but we'll, we'll, guess we'll be getting into that into our next video, which is scheduling and, and everything on reporting. So I'm going to go back here and uncheck this for a second. 
and real quick when you choose to add a component we'll just add a portable G4 we're not going to do data acquisition because I don't actually have one there I will leave our database the same we'll call this G4 Knoxville Tennessee as in here we'll call it, we'll add it to our solar And here we have the G4 Knoxville, Tennessee. So tags are a very convenient way to add um, or a little bit more organization to your files. Thank you for watching. Be sure to follow us on YouTube. Connect with us on LinkedIn and like us on Facebook. Have a great day.